Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer? In this tutorial, I'll be showing how you can easily edit your photos uh, using frequency separation with no step skip. And I just want to show you how you can easily edit quickly and faster using frequency separation. So let's first of all crop the image in a ratio of 45 or 8 by 10 because when you're posting photos to Instagram, you'd love your photo to fill up the entire screen. When you post it so i'm just going to crop the image slightly i think to this and hit enter on the keyboard so i'll just come and create two layers by pressing ctrl j on the keyboard twice so you can rename these layers to whatever you want so you can name the layers to low frequency or high frequency like frequency passion suggest i'll just come and name this to low and i'm going to name the up layer to high frequency the low frequency layer contains the colors and uh, the high frequency layer contains the textures. So I'm just going to name this to high and hit enter. So after doing that, just come and hide this layer. Select the low frequency layer and now come to filter, blend, come to Gaussian blur. Take radius down, look for an area that has textures or more textures and blur out those textures. So you have to, you stop at the point whereby the textures are just starting to disappear from the image. So I think at around 5, that is when I'm just starting to lose out on the textures on the skin. And click OK. Select this layer now, activate it. And after activating it, just come to image. Come to apply image. And select the low frequency layer. Now just come and change the blend mode to add. Since this is a 16-bit image, scale is to offset 0 and simply turn on the invert option and click ok change the blend mode from normal to linear light right here and put this to in a group by selecting both layers and using command then press ctrl g or you can use command g and hide the high frequency layer and after hiding it come and select the low frequency layer you're now going to come and select the mixer brush tool then just come and use hardness zero clean brush is selected then the option that says clean the brush after each and each stroke has been selected right here. With the weight of 9%, load 75, mix at 90 and the floor of 100%. Make sure sample oil is not turned on. So with the mixer brush tool basically selected, we just want to blend or even out the skin tone transitions of the model's face. So to mix, you left click and hold down and mix to blend the colors of the skin tone. Just like that, mix the highlight alone. And while it is transitioning from one color to another, use a smaller brush and you can use the bracket keys on the keyboard to increase or decrease on the size of the mixer brush tool to work on a smaller area. So basically we are trying to blend out or even out the skin tones using the mixer brush tool. So mix colors that are looking alike just like that and mix the highlight alone to create just that nice and smooth transition between the skin tones of uh, the model. So that is basically what we are doing using the Mr. Brush tool. So I'm mixing just like that. And by just doing that, it's going to smoothen out or even out the skin tone transitions and get us a nicely retouched or even evenly skin toned image. So I think that is okay mix on the chin and so when you turn this on you can see what we have right now so this is a before after before after so let's continue working on the image on the other parts of the image so I'll just turn that off and simply mix just like that mix this highlight alone and mix every area that contains or has skin to create a nice and smooth transition between the skin so just like that and you can see what we have right now reduce on the size and work on this small area and blend the colors on the neck area and just like that you are going to be able to have the best results from your editing process and your frequency separation in general so Mix every area that has or contains skin tones for better results. So I'm just going to mix this area, the collarbone. And by just doing that, you can see 
what we have right now so increase on the size and you work on a different area i think this is okay and perfect so when you turn on the text here you can see what we have been able to edit before after before after so select this high frequency and now come and get the clone stamp tool and make sure the settings the hardness set to zero and soft round brush is selected opacity at 100 percent flat 100 percent make sure the sample is set to current layer and after doing that just simply zoom into the image so to remove this kind of blemish or pimple hold down the option key on the keyboard if at all you're using mac then if at all you're using windows hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and left click on an area near the pimple or blemish that you want to remove and left click over the blemish to clean it up or remove it from that area so for a line you copy and drag over that line to uh, get rid of it so by just doing this you are going to be having the best results out of uh, your retouching process and this is how you can easily edit simply using frequency separation as a skin retouching technique so if at all you'd love an in-depth video that is beginner friendly i have a couple of longer videos on this channel that are going to help you understand frequency separation better in photoshop so just going to zoom out so you can see this is the image before after before after so what would love to do if at all you want to do further editing or color grading you can proceed with that by evening out the skin tones of a model if at all you feel like the skin tones are not even enough so you're just going to come to the adjustments here and simply come and select our lovely gradient map tool and select the gradient icon and hide the gradient layer so make sure the icon is selected simply left click on the properties to open up the gradient editor then left click on the this pointer and it is going to set the location to zero and left click on the color picker tool make sure the sample is set five by five average zoom all the way in on the image and look for a darker area of the skin tone of the model so that is the dark area hit ok then left click on the brightest pointer or this point on the right hand side and do the same for the brightest point of the skin tone so i use i feel like this is brighter hit ok then click in the middle type the location 50 and left click on the color option and look for what you feel represents the mid-tones of uh, the model skin so i'll choose a slightly warmer color and hit ok then click ok and now activate the layer and after activating it simply come and change the blend mode from normal and change it to color and after doing that we just want to apply the effect on only the model skin so what we are going to do we're just going to simply first of all hide this layer then come back to this group layer and create a stamp visible layer so press shift option command e for mac then for windows it is shift alternate control e to create a stamp visible layer now you can simply duplicate it then we are going to come and we select the subject by coming right here to select then subject and it's going to select our subject so to refine the selection you can get this quick selection tool with the minus tool activated and you can now come and subtract a selection so i'm just going to subtract the areas that i don't want the color grading to affect in this case and by just doing that we have now selected the skin so what we are going to do, we are just going to hold down the option key on the keyboard or the alternate key on the keyboard and click on this mask icon right here to create an a layer mask that is inverted on the subject then you are going to come and select this layer for the gradient map and drag it and put it in a group and close the group so after closing the group you are going to hold down the shift key, shift key and drag this mask so just drag it and place it on the group of the color grading and just come back and turn on the the layer of the gradient map to apply the color grading so it's the before after so if at all it has affected some areas that you don't want to affect you can simply come back and get the normal brush tool 
So make sure you have black and white right here. So you can reset by pressing D on the keyboard. And you can switch between black and white by using X on the keyboard or you can use this arrow. So we just want to paint using black to erase the effect from affecting the eyes and the lipstick. So make sure the white this clear mask is selected. So with that, paint using a, a brush that is black and is going to eliminate the color grading from those areas you did not want to affect in the very first place. So eliminate the color grading from uh, the model's lips too. And I think uh, this looks okay. You can even use a smaller brush to eliminate the colors from uh, the model's eyeshadow or even this part of the head wrap. So after masking out from uh, those areas, I'm just going to mask this a little bit and take it from the head wrap once again. So right now we are done evening out the skin tone, but it is a little bit too much. So just come the opacity right here and reduce on the opacity to your liking or to your taste as a person editing or retouching. So basically, this is the before, after, before, after. And this is how you can easily edit a photo in Photoshop from the very start to the very end in the shortest time possible. And if I told you are done, simply save the photo so it doesn't change in color. So just come to file, export, export as. Then simply change the quality to the maximum. The format has to be JPEG. Resample to by cubic sharp and make sure you check these two options. Convert sRGB and also embed color profile and hit export to export the photo so this is it for this video and if i told you i've enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if i told you're watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and seeing yet more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating